Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to disappear behind a towel. You just simply hold it up in front of you, drop it, and poof, you're gone. Okay, it's a simple project. Let's get started now. Okay, let's uh, import our raw footage and we'll uh, drag it down to create a new composition. Okay, this is our raw footage, and this is what we're working with. Uh, you take a towel, hold it up in front of yourself, drop it, and very carefully walk over the towel, don't touch it, and out of view from the camera. And come back in, pick up the towel, give us the high sign, and walk off camera again. I've got a lot of footage here after the point where she walks off that I don't want so I'm going to drag the, uh, the tab over to here right click in the work area and trim comp to work area and we've got a little over 30 seconds to work with. When she drops the towel, what we want to see is this right here. Okay, let's uh, duplicate this layer with Control D. And the top layer will be uh, the layer that we mask and the bottom layer will be uh, what we see after the towel drops so when she drops it she walks off and this right after she walks off this is what we want to see when the towel drops she won't be there and the towel will be on the floor so as soon as she goes out of the frame this is where we want to freeze the image let's rename these top layer We'll rename it before, before she drops the towel, and the second one will be after, after the towel drops. All right, the uh, the bottom layer we're going to be uh, uh, we're going to be altering the time mapping, so we wanted to uh, we want to freeze frame it up to this point and then uh, let it go on after that. Okay, so we're going to uh, highlight the uh, bottom layer. Look to uh, layer time, enable time remapping, and right where she walks out, we're going to uh, put a keyframe, and we're going to delete this first one that appeared by default. So uh, now let's solo this bottom layer, and all we will see here up to this point is uh, it's a freeze frame, and then she comes back in. Alright, now the top layer, the before layer, uh, we're going to mask out everything except the girl and the towel. So go up to your uh, rectangle tool. and make a rectangle on either side of her and you got to be careful because if you look closely here's the towel on the floor remember this second layer it's the time has been frozen and uh, it shows the towel on the floor and we don't want to see that yet So highlight your mask and bring it over a little bit more. Okay, now we want to animate the mask so it drops when she drops the towel. So right before she drops it, open up the mask, hit the uh, time watch 
under mask path that will add a keyframe. Now on your keyboard for a PC keyboard hit page down. Each time you hit page down it advances the time by one frame. Alright, add a keyframe here. Advance a couple uh, frames and now advance it until until it drops and there's no more movement of the towel and highlight mask path left click on one of the corners hit shift on your keyboard and come down until it's all the way down so now roughly follows it down just a little bit. It's a little slow. We're going to adjust that. So hit page down a few times. Just have to work with this. The towel doesn't drop perfectly horizontal. You can see that it's, it starts to slant, takes on all kinds of weird angles at the bottom. So we want to follow the, the top of the towel with our mask. So we need to add a few points. We need to add some uh, more vortex, vertice points. So go up to your pen tool add vertex tool and let's add one two three points to the top of our mask so now we can uh, adjust the mask as it's falling keep in line with the top of the towel Uh, let's feather the mask so it's about seven, eight pixels. So as the towel uh, is dropping, the mask follows the top of the towel and she's disappearing. All right, let's see what we've got now. That looks pretty good. I notice there's a difference 
Uh, I have a, a camera with an automatic exposure and I can't override that so based on what uh, the camera sees it's going to adjust the exposure so uh, when she walked out of the range of the camera uh, you can see that it lightened up versus uh, at the very beginning was darker so we've got different exposures within this short film um, so we can get rid of that we're going to add two more masks on either side of the mask one so go back to your rectangle tool and just uh, create a small mask on either side of that we're going to feather that and we'll add another one open up these two masks and we're going to feather them way out to 44. How about that? <clears throat> so it's not so noticeable. That's much better. Now we need to animate these two masks just like we did uh, with mask one. So uh, This keyframe doesn't doesn't belong there. This is where she begins to drop it. So we'll add a keyframe. Hit the uh, for mask two and three. Hit the mask path, the uh, stopwatch. We'll add a keyframe. Do that for mask three also. And hit page down. Hit the mask path, hit mask two, mask path, uh, left click on a corner, hit shift, and come straight down. And we'll do the same with mask three, highlight mask path, left click on one of the corners, hit shift, drag it down. Now let's see what we've got. You can adjust this so these don't come down so quickly. Let's take a look at this. Not bad. Looks pretty good. So she drops the towel, disappears, and this is, uh, it takes her a while to come back in front of the camera. Uh, we could adjust that. We could speed that up very carefully by going to the end of your timeline, adding a keyframe. This is for the bottom layer. Add a keyframe at the very end and you want her to uh, to show up shortly after the towel drops see she actually doesn't show up for quite a while so what we can do is highlight that these two keyframes and they must be moved together or uh, it'll be out of sync she'll either be walking too fast or too slow so Move this over. So right after the uh, towel drops, okay. I hope you enjoyed this project. It's fairly simple.
Have fun. Goodbye.